Welcome to Get Roaring. I am Rory. Fancy meeting you here. It's time for some more NHL franchise mode in NHL 21. But I got fired again. Well, again in my recording of NHL games. I got fired last year. I got fired this year after 14 seasons with the Moncton Lions. I thought I had a good team. I guess not. Um, so I picked up with the Winnipeg Jets, but I was talking to um, a viewer, a friend, about uh, what I should do with this series. And he seemed to think a fresh start might be good, and I'm kind of inclined to agree with him. Um, but there's, there's some stuff I would like to do so I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna do a lot of simulating you're not gonna see it all um, but what I'd like to do is if we if we if we go through year after year I want to see how the Moncton Lions do and moreover some of the players that are on the Moncton Lions um, I want to follow um, the vineyards both of them see how uh, Parise and LaBelle do and see how many see if they're successful after they turfed me and all that business and then most of all see how they do in their retirement so I'd like I'm gonna finish the uh, I'm gonna express finish the uh, the franchise mode in this video for you it'll be a short period with a lot of results and stuff for me it's gonna be a lot of simulating so here we go let's see what happens at the let's see how see what happens throughout the first season of uh, my time with the Winnipeg Jets I'm just gonna go through it all really quickly but you'll uh, when I, I pop in it'll be summaries and we'll see what happens so uh, let's go let me go ahead and do all that and then uh, I'll catch up with you soon, okay? Alright, here we are at the start of the 2034-2035 season. Let's take a look at... They have Addison... Asham. Asham come from 26 years old. Power forward, interesting. for the Buffalo Sabres, Lafreniere, Parise, LaBelle, Mel Vineyard, Cousins, Lorenz, Robertson. What does their defense look like? Addison, Vineyards, Lorenz. So they got rid of Warwick Cider, Jay Timonen, Orpikari, Orbit. Okay. Old tenders? Kai Gorodov and Fitz, I guess, is uh, or Stanton. All right, so here's kind of uh, approaching the American Thanksgiving. Here's kind of what the what their lineup looks like for the Moncton Lions. They got Lafreniere, Parise, Ashland, Labelle, Cousins, and Burroughs. Then they got Barnes, Stevenson, and Vineyard on the third line. Lang, Dolan, whoever that is, and Nicholas Robertson on the fourth line. Their defense is Vineyard, Addison, Lorenz, Corpicari, Westgarth, and Bacchus. And their goalies are Stanton and Kaigorodov. Kaigorodov is down to an 86. Kind of surprising. Interesting stuff. Anyway. They made some changes, obviously. But we'll just keep going. Now that we've got a chance to see their lines. Let's get right up to the trade deadline there. Maybe it's a little... Uh, maybe it's a little schadenfreude on my side here, but... Uh, <coughs> the team that fired me is doing exactly the same. Slightly, slightly better. Than the team I'm barely managing, apparently. So I feel as though it wasn't entirely my fault now. 
since they had the opportunity to change it and they're basically doing the same. So let's see what happens in a game against them with our Winnipeg Jets. Par scores on Kai Gordov, second period. No score. Third period. These scores on Kai Gordov. We won two to nothing. No goodness. <laughs> My poor Moncton Lions. Uh Kai Gordov tried, but well, they didn't score. Maybe that was the biggest problem with the team. Not enough snipers. Oh well. Away we go. On to the trade deadline. That was just a little aside there for you. Alright, so let's take a look at what was done on the deadline. Uh, you can see that I did some stuff. Um, let's see if uh, the Lions did anything. Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. No action from the Lions. All right. Tread tre the tread deadline. The trade deadline is over. Let's uh, let's head to the playoffs and see what happens. I don't know if I'll make it. I doubt it. But... So see you at the end of the season. All right. So here's what the 2034-2035 uh, playoff brackets look like. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets barely missed the playoffs, but you know it was a good run. The Moncton Lions are in the first round against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's see if uh, they can win a cup, shall we? Okay. The the Moncton Lions have fired head coach Corbin Angelitas. So the coach I hired, the Moncton Lions have fired. There you go. Maybe I should have done it. There you go. Your Stanley Cup champions, the Montreal Canadiens. And the Calder Cup champions are the Hershey Bears. All right. So draft lottery, Vancouver jumps up to one. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really see Winnipeg in there. All right, let's check out the retired players. Connor McDavid. At the age of 38, calls it a career with 1,940 points in 1,561 games. Pasta also calls it a career, 1,558 game, games, 1,602 points. Wow. Barkoff calls it a career, 1,400 points in 1,500 games. Sebastian Ajo calls it a career, 1,432 in 1,470. <sighs> Look at that. Patrick Laine. Who was on our team, but kind of traded him for some picks. 1,400 points in 1,488. Matthew Kachuk calls it a career. 1,200 points in 1,400 ga games. Nico Heischer calls it a, a career. 1,100 points in 1,380 games. Everybody above here has scored 400 goals or more. McDavid scored 823. Unbelievable. Kale McCarr. A thousand points in 1,253 games with 207 goals himself and 815 assists. Goodness. Anthony Sorelli calls it a career. Nolan Patrick calls it a career. Sam Steele. Ivan Provorov. Luke Kunin. Okay. Tom, Thomas Shabbat. 794 points in 1,365 games. I feel like that's probably not as much as he'll actually do. Like, uh percentage wise maybe not actual numbers but Jake for and calls it a career Christian Dvorak Owen Tippett all right Troy Terry Charlie McAvoy Wow Kubali calls it a career Erickson Eck Jasper Bratt you're gonna get a lot more simulated younger players who play a thousand plus games I don't know if this will always be the case like Taylor Radish played a thousand games Morgan Frost played a thousand games. Evgeny Shvechnikov? I think he'll do better than that. Anyway. Yoki Haru calls it a career. Kovanov, Kovanov, Oli Mata, Yuo Levy calls it a career. Wow. Valamaki calls it a that's a that's a rough pitcher. Anyway. Alright. Ruzika calls it a career. We had him for a while. Uh, Kiefer Bellows. Wow. Okay. Now let's check out the goalies. 
Vasilevsky. Wow, okay. 1,950 games for a goaltender, 456 wins. And he maintained a save percentage of 9.10 for his whole career. My goodness. All right, well, Joseph Wall. There you go. If you're a Leaf fan, you know what's going on. But Vasilevsky, pretty, pretty legendary. So those are your retirees. All right, let's take a look at the awards while we're here. Stanley Cup goes to the Montreal Canadiens, the President's Trophy to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, the Clarence S. Campbell goes to the San Jose Sharks. And of course, the Prince of Wales goes to Montreal. Individual awards. Art Ross, A. Yakupov. Art Memorial, A. Yakupov. Look at Svensson dominating that character category until there. Kay Layton. From uh, Pittsburgh, James Norris. Uh, Lady Bing goes to M. Shaw. The Calder goes to Jay Elliott. I guess uh, Minnesota on the rise there. Jay Murley of Montreal. <laughs> oh my goodness, Conn Smythe Trophy. All right, Vesna goes to K. Johansson. William and Jennings goes to B. Cope. There you go, Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy goes to our vineyard. Nice. Jack Adams, the uh, Coyotes coach. Loki Tanoff goes to this. The Selkie goes to Loki Tanoff there. Ted Lindsay goes to Yakupov. Maurice Richard goes to T. Doig. And uh, here we are back at the start. There we go. Those are your individual awards. Right. So that, that'll put a bow on the 2034-2035 season. Let's go ahead to the 2035-2036 season. So the I I decided to turn the fog of war off, and that way I not you know not preventing myself from seeing things now for for a good reason. So I forgot to check how uh, Mel did last season. Uh, she got 30 goals and 32 assists for 62 points. Pretty good. Let's check. Um, now the 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 Moncton Lions have uh, Asham and Parise and Vineyard up top. Cousins is down to an 81. How long was that contract? Gosh, I don't know if that was a good decision. Labelle and then have you heard? Warren heard there. I don't know. Kondrachev, Dolan and Burrow, Salvador, Steven and Robertson. On defense, Korpakari, Addison, Ag Agostini. Wow, they really took... I don't know what happened here. And Lorenz is, is now at an 82. So they shed some people. Probably due to salary, I'm going to guess. But uh, I, I don't have high hopes for Moncton at this point. <laughs> They're looking kind of rough. Um, the other team, let's take a look at... Uh, I think it's Buffalo? If Bolton still plays for Buffalo... Uh, there he is. Okay, 89. His last year, he he had a 40 goals and 39 assists for 79 points in 82 games. Pretty good. Montreal, how did they do? Montreal was always very much a rival. Man, Svensson. So, Jonathan Murley. Let's check out his stats. Yeah, spent a couple of years in in uh, in Montreal there, and he got a lot of points. So maybe maybe trading Merley wasn't the best idea. Anyway, I don't know. It's tough. You get attached to players, but he did. Well, he was okay. Maybe trading him was okay, but putting him beside Svensson was a different story. I don't know. Anyway. Another year. Let's uh, simulate and see what's happening. So Pierre Luc Dubois showed up on waivers. Thirty-seven-year-old Pierre Luc Dubois, who's earning four point six million dollars and is rated at seventy-five. I think I'm good. All right, we have a regular season matchup against the Moncton Lions. 
take a look at their lines again. Here we are. We're in the, the beginning of the new year, 2036. Man, how time flies, literally, when you're simming. Our Winnipeg Jets were doing okay at the start of the season, but we're starting to falter. So Moncton, Asham, Parise, and Vineyard, Cousins, Lavelle, and Stevenson, Kondrachev, Dolan, Burroughs, Salvador, Robertson. Have you heard? And then on their defense, Corpacari, Addison, Agostini, Merkley, Orbit, and Lorenz. I don't know why Lorenz is playing in the third pairing. Maybe it has to do with the coach. Kaigorodov and Stanton. How did Kaigorodov do? He's doing amazing this year. Oh my goodness. Last year he was he had a 905 with a 300 goals against average. And uh, he played 72 games. My goodness. Although I guess he was playing 68, 66, 71 under, under me as the GM. So I guess a little better, but... And he played a lot of games. Played a lot of games there, too. But uh, doing okay, I guess. Good goaltender. Pretty happy with him uh, when we had him. When I was there. Let's uh, let's do... Let's simulate this game. It'll be a quick, quick slow sim, if that's a thing. But just to see see what happens. First period. Kondrachev and Vineyard. For us, Grabowski. All right, second period. Berkeley, Asham, and Cousins for Moncton, and A. Lupul for the Winnipeg Jets. Finally, Lupul and Asham score. 6-3 victory for the Moncton Lions. Three stars. Asham, two goals, one assist. Vineyard, one goal, two assists. And Lupul with two goals. Back to simming. I'll see you at the deadline. All right, so, oh, I forgot about eggs. Oh my gosh, okay. How can I forget about eggs? That's terrible. Okay, let's look at the trade deadline summary. I didn't, I just let, I let it fly basically. So, uh, Vancouver acquired Isaac Lundstrom. Buffalo made a trade with St. Louis. Bunch of stuff going either way, but uh, the big one of the day is the New Jersey Devils acquired Eggs McMuffin from the Ottawa Senators. Eggs McMuffin going on to, to New Jersey. So uh, we'll check him out too, if I remember. Let's go Let's go back to simming and see what happens at the end of the season. Our, um, our basically computer-run Winnipeg Jets are not faring well. Coming out of the trade deadline, the Moncton Lions are in second. In their division. Um, we are in last in our division. Last. Okay. I may not last with Winnipeg. Speaking of lasting. So let's see. Let's see what happens at the end of the season. Get to the get to the playoff situation. So here we go. The season's finished. My owner is very neutral with me, which makes sense because they should be neutral with themselves. But here we are with the playoff picture. Let's take a look. So the Moncton Lions are facing their one of their uh, rivals, kind of, because of the Debrinket trade. The New York Islanders. Montreal is facing Ottawa. It's an interesting series. Buffalo against uh, the Panthers. On the other side, not us. Calgary versus Arizona. Edmonton and the Ducks. Panthers and the Sharks. Or sorry, the Panthers. Preds and the Sharks. Panthers are over there. And then uh, Columbus against Dallas. So uh, we'll see how they end up. Before that, though, let's take a look at some stats. Exciting stats. So Haglin, top of the league with 83 points. Wow. Oh, no, this is top of the league. Top of our team. Top of the league is Svensson, of course. 51 goals, 123 points. Man, who, I'm, I'm get, who is the goal leader? Oh, Valesi. Valesi of Buffalo. Very nice. But it's Sven Svensson. That's incredible. 123 points now. Oh, Shane Wright with 105. Wow. 32-year-old Shane Wright. Now, I have... Uh, 
I think I have moderate scoring on, so I don't usually put it on high. There's a uh, there's Bolton has had 40 goals, 45 assists with Buffalo for 85 points. Uh, who else we got? All right, let's check out Moncton specifically. So oh 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 what's going oh what's going on oh the AHL okay. Let's go with uh, the entire league and seriously, entire league. There we go. Uh, we have Moncton. Where are you? Moncton Lions on their team. Top scorer, uh, Vineyard again. Thirty-five goals, fifty-six points in total. Top points was Asham, twenty-four goals, forty-five assists. Addison had sixty assists for. 9 goals, 60 assists, 69 points. LaBelle, 30, a 30 goal season. Parise, 67 points. Him and LaBelle are about the same. I, didn't, I don't know. I expect more out of those two. I don't know what happened to Lafreniere. Went somewhere else. Cousins doing okay, um, despite his decline. I guess he's an 80. It's not the worst. But his contract is finally up. So that'll help them a lot. Uh, Robertson. See, I I mean, if I felt like I was caught in that, I would have traded it. So they looks like they shed other things, you know, instead. Lorenz had 26 points. As for goaltending, Igordov, 42 wins, 918 save percentage. He had himself a season. He well, is it the playoff? I don't know. Stats are weird. All right, anyway, let's go take a, a quick look at, uh, let's see how Eggs did go to New Jersey. All the way down. All right, New Jersey. New Jersey Devils. Eggs Mc... Oh my gosh, Eggs. Goodness. 73 points, 37 goals for Eggs McMuffin. That was a, that was a good trade for uh, New Jersey. Goodness. Right. Let's uh let's see who wins this cup. The Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup again. And Svensson is one heck of a player. They have a good team and they have for a long time. Let's see how the Montreal Canadiens made it to the cup. The Moncton Lions lost to the Islanders in the first round. But uh Oh, Montreal beat Ottawa, then they beat Buffalo, and then they beat the Penguins, and then they swept the Arizona Coyotes. Wow. We won. The Winnipeg Jets have won the draft lottery, for whatever that's worth. Toronto lost the draft lottery. Philadelphia jumped up to third. Alrighty. Let's check out the retired players. Miko Rantanen retires 1,585 points in 1,525 games. Wow, over a point a game for Miko Rantanen. William Nylander retires 1,407 points in 1,535 games. Clayton Keller retires with 1,329 and 1,450. Brock Besser, 576 goals for 1,253 points in 1,430 games. There you go. Pierre Luc Dubois retires as a New Jersey Devil, probably in the AHL though. I thought over a thousand points in 1,400 games. Same with Timo Meyer, but over 1,500. Nick Suzuki retires. How old was uh, Nylander? 40 years old. Wow, 40 years old for Nylander. Suzuki retires with 966 points in 1,300 games. Travis Konechny, 900 points in over 1,400 games. Matt Dumba played 1,622 games. And had 876 points. Man. And Miko Randon had almost 550 goals. Sergachev calls it a career. 810 points in 1,436 games. Casey Middlestat, 785. Epo Niemi retires. Zach Wawrinski, 1,400 games with 640 points. Wow. Timothy Lilligren, 609 points in 1,200 games. Texier calls it a career. 518 points in a thousand, just over a thousand games. 
Jake Bean, Shaw, Chikrin, Brandstrom calls it a career. Brandstrom seems a little younger than the others. Six, okay. Nicolision, Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn is done. 1,463 games. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the goaltenders. Ilya Samsonov calls it a career. 473 wins. I believe he played for Montreal for quite a while. Di Pietro retires. Stuart Skinner. He was good for us. He calls it a career. 181 games, 77 wins. Dustin Wolf. It's funny because we were just watching a, a Marley's game where I think Dustin Wolf was the goaltender and he just got lit up. But hey, he retires at the age of 35. And what was it? What is this? 2013? All right, since we have the first pick overall in the draft, we're going to make that pick just for fun. Not that it's going to... I don't even know if it matters, but... If you're going to take somebody, take the center, let's do it. Unless it's an obvious choice. So let's take Cowan for the first overall pick. See how that goes? 78 overall medium elite. Let's sim the next pick. 80 overall. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Uh, the both the next two are both 80 overalls. Oh well, we'll ho hope that our guy catches up. I don't know, whatever. So let's uh let's sim the rest of the draft and move along. All right, we got ourselves a new season here. Let's take a look at what uh Moncton looks like. Go down to Moncton here. Asham Parise and uh, Will Culp. Okay. So, uh, Kyler Yamamoto, LaBelle, Burroughs, Kondrachev, Stevenson, Salvador, Sundstrom, Dolan, and Robertson. On defense, we have Korpakari, Addison, Agostini, Lorenz. Lorenz is growing. Uh, Vuk Vukajevic and Westgarth. Okay. Bullies are Kaigorodov and Stanton. So, I don't know what happened to the vineyards. Let's take a... I'll take a gander. Just give me a sec. So, both of the vineyards are now with different teams. Bell is with the Carolina Hurricanes, and uh, Rorius is with the Dallas Stars. Okay. Buffalo Bolton is still playing uh, for them, at the age of 32. And... Rated in 89. All right. Montreal, Svensson. Still still up there. Merle is on their second line now. 35-year-old Peyton Krebs. There you go. Check out New Jersey real quick. Eggs, where are you? Eggs is gone. I don't know. Brief stint there with for, for Eggs. Egbert Eggs McMuffin is playing for the Carolina Hurricanes now. Had himself a time last year. Rated 83. Alright, cool. Oh, well, let's get to the Simmon. Alright, here we are after the trade deadline. So let's take a look at what happened. Uh, it was on the first, so let's scroll down. So, Vancouver acquired... Kalen Addison, a third, and two others from Buffalo for a first, and Alan Primo from Vancouver. All right. Carolina acquired a first pick, Ernesto Reese, and two others from Detroit. Detroit uh, acquired Aaron Ortiz and Ray Threffle. Threffle? Okay. Boston acquired Kale, Heed, Perot, Corey Bartlett. Obviously, there's a lot of these names. I don't know. I'm just looking for the players <laughs> that we, uh, you know, that we know from the past. So it seems like there was a couple big ones involving first round picks or something. Our, uh, our Winnipeg Jets are not, not doing so hot. So we're just outside of a playoff spot. Uh, the owner is not happy with us. Uh, the Lions are just in a playoff spot. That was 75 points, although the Penguins are running away with things, and the Canadians are just good again. All right, let's see what see what happens at the playoffs. All right, here we are at the playoffs. I um, 
I was I wasn't exactly expecting to make it, so uh, I kind of simmed the game already. So you see that we actually won against the Preds. <laughs> okay. And on the other side, Moncton is playing Montreal. That's going to be tough. Ottawa's playing Detroit. Oh, classic matchup between the Penguins and uh, well, the the non Sidney Crosby and non Alexander Ovechkin Capitals versus the Penguins, and then. Oh, the battle, the Subway Series, New York the Islanders versus the Rangers. That's pretty cool. So we'll see where this takes us. Um, but first, let's look at the regular season points. I didn't do the awards net last year, so we'll just review them this year. We'll do last year's and this year's together. So on our team, Haglin had himself a time. 46 goals, 91 points. My goodness. Whoa, 91. Elite high. Very good. Lars Haglund, 2029, first overall, or second overall first rounder. Add himself a year. How are we doing, Buffalo? Bolton, 37 goals, 70 points. Still rated 89. His contract is up unless they've extended him, so that should be interesting. He might he might move. Uh Carolina. Mel had 33 goals and 77 points for Carolina. Eggs McMuffin, 37 goals and 67 points. Not bad. In 64 games. Wow, he was over a point a game. Mel was almost a point a game. Uh, I think Rory has ended up playing for Dallas. Unless he got traded. There he is. 18 goals, 14 points for 30, or 14 assists for 32 points in 82 games. A bit of a negative four. I don't know if that's good for a defensive defenseman. The 32 points is good for a defensive defenseman. And finally, let's check out uh, the Montreal Canadiens and Moncton. Moncton, LaBelle had 37 goals. Uh, Asham had 36. Kondrachev, 23. Overall points. LaBelle had 76. Parise had 74. Asham, 70. Addison, still 62 points. Like, he's been a, just... He's just been amazing. I mean, he's... a a 93 overall and he well he's he slipped down because he was franchise so he's starting to uh clint addison starting to starting to fade a little bit and the goaltenders check out the goalies kagordov 906 36 wins 29 losses a two 294 goals against average he's still rated an 88 still a good goaltender but um looks like a tough year for moncton all right, let's uh, let's see what happens with the playoffs. Who wins the cup? So the Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup again. My goodness, what a team! What a team! Let's take a look at the uh, the playoff tree. Obviously, they eliminated the Moncton Lions. Then they eliminated Ottawa 4-1. They took out the Islanders in a sweep, and they beat the Preds in the Stanley Cup final. The Islanders went past uh, the Rangers, and the the Capitals won that that uh, rivalry with Pittsburgh. But uh, I guess the the Lions had a tough matchup at the, in the beginning. There, we lost to uh, the Preds in the first round, and then they swept uh, St. Louis. So we didn't have much of a chance. But I'm amazed that we made the playoffs. Let's take a, a look at the awards. Obviously, Montreal three three peat Stanley Cup champions. Wow. They've won the President's Trophy twice and uh, like tw two times in a row. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at the individual awards. Svensson, Svensson, uh, Leighton for uh, the James Norris. Svechnikov won the Lady Bing. Way to go. Cowan, oh well, uh, and Lafreniere, Alexi Lafreniere won it last year. I don't know what happened to him. He's somewhere. We could look him up. Uh, Cowan, Svensson won the Conn Smythe course. You got three Montreal Canadiens there. Uh, Alos won the Vesna. Alos won the Jennings. A. Falk, the Bill Masterton. After a vineyard won it two years ago, Vetteral won it before him. Uh, the Preds coach won the Jack Adams. Loki Tanoff won the Selkie. He like wins it every other <laughs> exchanges it with a uh, trainer there. <laughs> That's funny. Ted Lindsay goes to Svensson. The Maurice Richard goes to Alto. 
And there you go. Art Ross, Heart Trophy back. Svensson, all, all the hardware, probably deserves it. Amazing player. All right, let's see who wins this dra the draft lottery. It won't be us, because we made the playoffs. So, Chicago wins the draft lottery. They go from third to first. Philly jumps up from to second from tenth. Wow. Calgary, seven to three. Los Angeles gets stiffed. And, uh... Everybody else pretty much gets to keep their picks after uh, 11. Let's check out the retired players. Austin Matthews calls it a career with the Toronto Marlies. Did he play his whole career with the Toronto Maple Leafs? It looks like it. He did play his full the full slate, the Toronto Maple Leafs. He finished with uh, seven goals and twelve assists in his final year at the age of thirty-nine. But he retires with sixteen hundred and thirty-eight points, eight hundred and two goals in almost sixteen hundred games. Elias Pettersson also calls it a career: thirteen hundred twenty-five points in thirteen hundred eighty-eight games. Philip Zadina, eleven twenty-two in thirteen seventy-one. Brady Kachuk retires a Toronto Maple Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Almost a thousand points for him and Tolvin, and oh man, but Kachuk played like over 200 games more. Thomas, 940 points. Ballstrom, 904 points. Adam Boquist, eight, over 800. Wow, that's uh, over eight, 800 and 900 points for those two. Dave Velarde calls it a career with 830. 839. Dylan Cousins. Also a career, 800, 819 points in 1,291 games. Nick Robertson calls it a career for uh, the Moncton Lions at the age of 35. 681 points in 1,100 games. Merkley also does so. 620 points in over 1,000 games. Alex Formanton calls it a career. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, 495 in 1,300 exactly turned out to be the sniper that you know Kalen Addison greasy Liam Foodie retires Cole Perfetti 411 points in 779 games I would have I would have thought more but you know maybe injuries plagued them Nicholas Lang retires oh that's not the that's the other Lang okay Jet Wu retires Graham Clark retires. That's, I kind of saw that coming. All right, let's check out the goalies. Who's calling it a career? Okay, Bednar is about the most. Uh, <laughs> it's about the most recognizable one there. Okay, nothing huge in the goaltender department. All right, new season. Let's take a look at the state of affairs for our team. Not that it matters much, really. Uh, we got uh, Matt Pedersen with us. We uh, we signed Matt Pedersen and Haglin seem to be our top players, I should say. We we assigned Kakinyemi, um, and for some reason Estrada is playing on the fourth line. That doesn't mean they're gonna do that anyway. Uh, for our defense, it looks okay, except for. Um, you know, Aiden Clifford here, who's a 69, but whatever. Uh, let's look at our goaltending. Goaltending, we have Beach, Beach, and uh, Mackinnon. Hopefully, Beach can get a beach ball. That'd be good. All right, that's that's our team. Uh, you know, I, it's it, it's a team. Let's see what happens. We made the playoffs last year, but that didn't that didn't go very far. Let's take a look at Buffalo. So Bolton, did he resign? Yep, three years, eleven mil. So Bolton is uh, keeping with his time with Buffalo. They, they look like they have a pretty good team. Uh, let's take a look at the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes, uh, Vineyard is still there. She's down to an 81 though at 35. She could be, she could be uh, closing in on the end of her career because uh, that's that's quite a dip. Eggs McMuffin, 34 year old Eggs McMuffin. 
What's his contract? 10 million. Oh my god. Oh, he made some cake. That's a lot of McMuffins. Oh goodness. Okay, let's take a look at Dallas. Dallas. Uh, defense? Vineyard is still there, 83, 32 years old. 7 mil, 3 years, okay. Alright. Let's take a look at Montreal. Finally. Our three time Stanley Cup champion, so uh, at this point. My goodness, what a team. So Svensson, obviously, is still up there. That's different. 34 year old Essa Pekarainen is their first line center, although you think Reardon would fit better. I don't know. Um, they they may be having salary cap issues. I don't know. Their defense looks pretty porous. Uh, and their goalies? Ooh. Oh gosh. 35 year old Tucker Tynan is their goaltender. So I think Montreal has finally hit a wall with cap issues. Uh, let's see what happens. I don't know what's happening in Jetsville. We're 14, four and zero. And we beat Moncton four to two. And we're, we're going on winning streaks here. It's pretty crazy. We might actually be a thing. Who knows? We, we beat Moncton again, nine to seven. <laughs> Goodness, that's a lot of goals in one game. No defense required. All right, we're just past the deadline. Let's take a look at what's going on. Um, we're in a playoff spot. We're doing way better than I thought we would. Um, the Lions are not in a playoff spot right now. They're kind of fighting for one. Let's go with picks and trading. Oh, Carolina. Carolina, that's so cool. Carolina has acquired Rory's Vineyard from Dallas. So the Vineyards are back together in Carolina. Uh, Dallas acquired Legwand in a fifth and a sixth from Carolina. Washington acquired a third in Baker from New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey acquired, uh, acquired K. Bruce. Okay. Second round in Jack Peverly. Uh, San Jose got Anton Lundell. The St. Louis Blues acquired a first rounder. I I I took I took Calio and E Lang from the New York Islanders and they got Edward Behar and okay Saul Garnett okay I don't know <laughs> first round pick going that in that trade though um just see if there's any other names of interest there was a lot of trades made pa Pascal Ganon for Quinn Reichel and Keegan Leclaire. And finally, the New York Islanders trade uh, acquired a third round pick, Lambos and Guerra. That's cool for Minnesota. Or Omara and okay and Dunham. But I think the most interesting trade there for at least for our sort of storylines is that uh, the Vineyards are now back together in Carolina. Funnily enough, we have family in Carolina, so we when we can go to there, there to visit. Um, we, we go to see the Hurricanes, and here we go. We are actually playing the Hurricanes. Let's take a look at their lines. See how they are doing. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes. So they have uh, they have Mel, they have Eggs, and on defense, they got Rorius in their top two with Duke Kadri. <laughs> That's cool, Duke Kadri. And their goaltender is Bertram and Wilm. Um... How are the Buffalo Sabres doing? Do they have... Uh, they still got Bolton. How's Montreal... What does Montreal look like? Because they were struggling to begin with. Uh, Svensson... They still got Svensson and Murley. So they still got two of their big guys. Uh, and on defense, Griffin, Haas, Nasland, Valiquette. Gogol, I guess. And their goalies... Tucker Tynan and Julian. Okay. So let's 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 do a, kind of a slow sim, not a really long slow sim, but let's do a, a sl uh, let's go in and see what happens in this Carolina game against our Winnipeg Jets here. 
Nothing in the first period. All right, so Mel had two. Uh, Hornquist has one for us, and uh, Kempeninen, third period. Uh, McEachern gets one, Lees gets one, Lupo gets one, and Roria scores. So both of the vineyards scored in a, a game against us. Three stars. Mel, Hornquist, and Nermanen. I just think that's kind of cool that they were on Moncton together and sort of split based on stuff that happened, and then they end up uh, back together on Carolina, hopefully to retire together. That'd be pretty cool. Let's, let's advance to the end of the season and see what happens. Very similar record to Moncton going into the end of the season. Um, ooh. Take that very uh, very uh, similar record going to the end of the season as Moncton. We end up beating them nine to four in our last meeting. So here we are. We're in the playoffs. Let's take a look. All right, we actually did stuff that the owner wanted. Also very good. Owner, the owner's happiness is currently amazing. All right. So let's take a look at stats and such. So, for us, Haglund has 96 points and 32 goals. Uh, Pedersen has uh, 41 goals and 79 points. I believe he's our leader. Yep, definitely so. Goalies. There. Uh, Beach. Our, our goalies are... Subpar to say the least. So let's take a look at. Uh, let's start at the top. Let's take a look at uh, Carolina. See how the Hurricanes did. No, we won't worry about their goalies. Let's <laughs> just go to the skaters. So Mel had 44 goals, 83 points. Um, at 35 years of age, <laughs> still still doing really well. Eggs McMuffin, 32 goals and 59 points. Amazing. Kempa 9 and 83 points with 54 assists. And uh, Rorius comes in with 16 goals, 11 assists for 27 points. Very cool. Alex Nylander, in, in, his, uh, in his 40th year, he's 40 years old now, had uh, 51 points. That's impressive. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at um, let's take a look at Montreal quick, just to see how they're doing. Actually, we'll go lead wide because Svensson is probably going to be up there. So let's take a look at the entire league. 112 points for Sylvester. Uh, Merley had 119. Uh, Mel was up there, 83. Goals. Oh, the other way around. Sylvester had 79, 79 goals. That's insane. At 24 years of age. When was when was Sylvester? 2031, so seven years ago. Man. Early, 56 goals. Aikala, 56 goals. Alto, 50 goals. Amadio, 48. Uh, Vineyard came... Mel had... She came in top 10. That's pretty cool. And uh, Svensson, 113 points and 70 assists. Probably on... The insane amount of goals that Merley scored. That's probably what happened there. All right, let's see what happens in the playoffs. So the San Jose Sharks go on to defeat everyone else, including us, to, to win the Stanley Cup. And the Calder Cup champions are the Stockton Heat, which, funnily enough, are playing the Toronto Marlies right now while I'm recording this. And Toronto is leading 4-1. to one. Excellent. Take a look at the playoff tree. All right. So we started off against the Preds, and we beat them in seven. Uh, the San Jose Sharks beat the, the Coyotes in six. Then we uh, we destroyed Columbus four to one. Meanwhile, San Jose went to seven games with uh, the Oilers. Then we, we were in the conference final, and we lost in six games to San Jose. On the other side... Uh, Bonkton didn't even make the playoffs. 
Montreal, though, went all the way to um, the conference finals. I didn't know how good they would do, but they're playoff performers. But they lost to the Capitals, who ended up losing in six in the finals to San Jose. And San Jose had, had that player that was unbelievable. Let's, uh, let's see what happens to the uh, retirees and so on, and then we'll take a look at the awards. So Minnesota retains the first spot overall. Carolina jumps from 10th to 2nd. Wow. So they got top top three pick there. Dreisaitl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Leon Dreisaitl calls it a career with 2,063 points in 1,824 games at the age of 42 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. He just calls it a career 1,200 points. He had 874 goals. That's amazing. That's like double anybody else on this list. Goodness. Capo Caco calls it a career too. 1,200 over 1,200 points and over 1,400 games. Dylan Strom calls it a career over 1,250 and 1,500. Yamamoto over 1,100. Lundell Kirby Dak calls it a career 900 points and 1,400 games games. Lucas Raymond calls it a career. Goodness. Does anybody else see down here that's kind of semi-interesting? Rasmus Sandin calls it a career. Hendrix Lapierre calls it a career. Noah Dobson. Moritz Sider calls it a career. 452 points in 1,373 games. Victor Soderstrom calls it a career. Ratcliffe, Jamie Drysdale calls it a career, 352 points in over a thousand games. Arthur Kaliev, wow, okay, goalies, Let's see who calls it a career on the goalie side, Kata Hat, 569 wins in a thousand games as a goaltender, wow, that is crazy, and he maintained a 909 save percentage. Age 39 year old 39 year old Kata Hat. That's impressive. And then dude I've never heard of almost wins 300 games and 600 appearances. That's pretty impressive. Wow, okay. Kata Hat though. That is unbelievable. That's a career right there. Let's take a look at the awards. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of San Jose-esque awards involved. Let's go back here. Stanley Cup champions, the San Jose Sharks. San Jose Sharks get the President's Trophy. They also get the Campbell. And Washington got the Prince of Wales. Individual awards. Murley, Montreal, Art Ross. Murley, Hart Trophy, Montreal. Oh my goodness. Is that uh, Bellefuel? I don't know <laughs> if you know how to pronounce that correctly. Throw that in the comments. Anyway, Wong wins the Lady Bing. Uh, Jay Keefe wins the Calder for Chicago. There you go. Asplund wins the Con Smythe, probably. Uh, Gillies wins the Vesna for Toronto. That's cool. Tucker Tynan wins the William M. Jennings for Montreal. Uh, Drake wins the Masterton. Bouillard wins the uh, Jack Adams. Uh, Valesi wins the Frank J. Selkie. And the Ted Lindsay goes to Murley. Maurice Richard Trophy goes to Silvestri. And we're back to the start. All right. I'll put a bow on that season. Get going to the next one. All right, this is our team for this season. We got Haglin at a 94. Donovan Cowan. Must be uh, finishing up his entry level deal. Big money out to uh, Kip Sku Skuin. All right. Pedersen, Petrovic, Lynch, uh, Victor Federov. Reasonably decent cash, cash there. And there's Hornquist. Uh, Stastny, Stastny, and Estrada, and uh, Regeer. Take a look at our defense. Fratton, 
Ars, Lee's, Hinola, Weller, Timonen. Ooh, our defense on the back end there does not look good. And our goalies, we got Beach and Mackinen again. That's not a bad combo. Alright, I mean, it looks like we have a pretty decent team. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, let's get to the start of the season and we'll take a look at... Uh, uh, so Montreal and Carolina and Buffalo. All right, here we are at the start of the season. Let's take a look at uh, some of the other teams and see how their lineups are drawn up. Let's take a look at Buffalo. Bolton still playing for Buffalo. 11 year or 11.8 for two years. We got Valesi up there, but uh, Bolton still sticking around with them at the age of 34. Now let's take a look at the Carolina Hurricanes. Vineyard is up to an 87. Uh, Eggs, Eggs is down here on the fourth line. Let's look at uh, defense. Vineyard is still there, although down to an 81 and down to a top 6D. So I, I get the feeling this may be the end of the line for him. Uh, I, oh, Mel is also down to a top 9 forward, but she's also 36 years old. So. Uh, it, it may be close to the end for the two of them. So uh, let's. Oh, we want to. Oh, oh, no, I don't want to. Let's take a look at Montreal. Let's back out a little bit here. Montreal. Montreal, Svensson, and Murley still up there. So Sawyer. Dino Stahlberg. Uh, I don't know why he's on the second line. 88? It's crazy. Their defense looks uh, not great. And their goaltending also looks not great. Well, Bjorkstrand looks okay. Yeah, I guess their goaltending is decent. But we'll see how they do. All right. Let's get going. Let's do some simming. All right, so we're we're just past the deadline in Montreal acquired a defenseman Silverberg for a first rounder and a Monty. So I'm assuming that was a big deal to go for a cup. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the other ones. Go check out uh, check out the news on all the socials and all that business. By the way, you could always check out my socials in the description if you will. Right, so let's let's scroll down a bit. Start. There's a lot of trades. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is going on? There's there's so many. It doesn't even. I don't even know if it all fits. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's just see if there's anything like super huge or anybody we recognize. Bunch of seven second round picks going around. So Nashville got the first round pick and built a Mon a Monty from Montreal for Nicholas Silverberg. So they must be that must be loading up to go for it. The An Anaheim Mighty Ducks also get a first and Bob Climey from Columbus for Yacheslav Semenov. So a big deal there. Some more second rounds. 
third round there we go st louis acquired a first round pick and uh alan primo from buffalo buffalo acquired jay uh Lego and uh third round pick and and arnett okay first round pick goes to minnesota and Kenneth Tenneth Lucic from Calgary for Alexander Yakupov. Wow. Player deal between Calgary and Edmonton. That's kind of a, well, I mean, they've done it recently, so that works. Carolina acquired a second and a fourth for Luke Wilford and a third. Ottawa acquired a bunch of stuff for a second and Samuel Gillies. And uh, Tampa Bay acquired Carl Mayer from Na Nashville, who got Marcus England and Hanu Hamalainen. All right. So whole, that was a busy trade deadline, my goodness. So let's, uh, let's see what happens when we get to the playoffs. Right now, we're in second place in our division. So we're in a playoff spot. The Canadians are first. And the Lions are hanging on third. But it looks like just barely. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So we made it to the playoffs. Second in our division with 100 points, 47 wins. Pretty good. The Canadians with 114 points, though. Wow. Uh, the Lions didn't make it. Just out of the playoffs, 92 points. Boy. Hurricanes also way out of the playoffs, so the Vineyards don't make it to the playoffs. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Let's see, um, let's see what the matchups look like, just a second. Get ahead? Maybe? There we go. Okay. Oh. Well, the owner wanted a, a bunch of good stuff, but... All right, so Montreal is facing off against Tampa, Ottawa against Florida, Capitals against Buffalo. Buffalo's in there, so Bolton gets another shot. And uh, Pittsburgh and the Islanders. Battle of Alberta, Vegas versus uh, the Canucks, Dallas versus Columbus, and we're in against the Preds. We will see what happens, folks. Our Stanley Cup champions are the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Syracuse Crunch won, won the Calder. So it's a clean sweep for the, the Tampa Bay organization. My goodness. Let's see about the retirements. Colorado wins the draft lottery. Anaheim goes from three to two. Arizona goes from four to three. Los Angeles gets a little bit stiffed and goes down to four. And then everybody else has what they're looking for on the way down. Carolina being included in the ninth pick. Let's check out the retired play players. Tim Stutzla. Calls it a career, 1,234 points in 1,330 games. Alexander Nylander finally calls it a career at 41 with 1,179 points in 1,498 games. Quinn Hughes played 1,583 games and had all, had over 1,150 points. Wow. LaRue, over 1,000 points in 1, almost 1,300 games. Anderson. Almost a thousand points in 1400 games. Peyton Krebs retires with uh, almost a thousand points in 1200 games. Uh, Hudson Bertram, okay, 950 points. Andre Kostitsin, Dylan Gunther, 880 points in 1347 games. Kravstoff calls it a career. Marco Rossi calls it a career. Rasmus Dahlin calls it a career at 39, 808 points in 1602 games. Wow. 39 years of age, Rasmus Dahlin. Miro Heis Heiskanen calls it a career. What else we got? 
Eggs McMuffin calls it a time. Eggs. Buddy, 36 years old, 486 points in 957 games. For our power forward, six foot five Eggs McMuffin. Good on you, buddy. Good career. Uh, Carolina, just to see if the vineyard's retired. Nylander and McMuffin, those are the only two. All right. Let's check out the goaltenders. Caden Primo calls it a career. Hunter Jones. Yacheslav Brzgalov calls it a career. Okay. Anti Martins. A Alexei Antropov. I believe this is this ha this may be our yep played for Moncton here and there. Moncton and Charlottetown at times. 37 years of age, good long career. Didn't have that many games in the NHL, but uh, not started anyway. But uh, good goaltender for us. All right, those are your retirements. Let's check. Um, Let's check the awards. So obviously Tampa won the Stanley Cup. Um, Montreal won the President's Trophy. Calgary won the Campbell. Tampa won the Wales. Individual awards. Svensson won the Art Ross. Svensson wins the Hart. Uh, Leighton wins the uh, James Norris Memorial Trophy. Svensson wins the Lady Bing. Schubert wins the Calder for a moment. Is that like two years in a row that Minnesota has had Calder Cup winner? I don't know. Something like that. Con Smythe goes to Carlson of Tampa. Vesna Kaigorodov won the Vesna. That's pretty cool. Kaigorodov also won the William M. Jennings. So he had a year. Uh, a. Falk wins the Bill Masterton for the second time in three years. Uh, the Preds coach wins the Jack Adams. Selkie goes to McInnes. Ted Lindsay goes to Svensson. Maurice Rocket Richard goes to Keefe. And of course back to the Art Ross. Let's take a look at the stats. Player stats. I was going to do that quick, but you know, before, but I wanted to go to the awards. But we'll look at them now. Uh, for our team, Haglin, 92 points in 82 games. Cowan. Donovan Cowan. Nice. When was he picked? First round, first overall. 36. Oh, okay. That guy. Skewin? Skip Skewin. 83 points. Pretty good. Pretty good. How's our goaltending looking? Goaltending. Beach. Div. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Not that great. 37 wins, yes, but uh, save percentage and the goals against are not good. Not good. Alright, let's take a look at the league wide stats. NHL. Actually, let's do our little tour here first. Buffalo Sabres. Velassi had 83 points, 45 goals. Bolton, 38 goals, 39 assists for 77 points in 79 games. Pretty good. Pretty good. Carolina. Mel had 34 goals still. 79 points, 36 years old. What's her contract look like? This is it for her contract, so she might be moving somewhere else. Uh, Rory has had 26 points, 15 goals. He's rated a 79, though. So I think he didn't retire this year, but I think next year might be it for him. Um, Mel's still an 86, so she'll probably last for a couple more years. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Um, we'll see how long is left in here. I don't know. We'll keep going. All right. And let's check out Moncton. So Burroughs. Oh, that's assists. Let's look at points. Points? Yep. So Burroughs had 74 points. 
Burrow's now an 83. Parise had 73 as well. 20 goals, 53 assists. LaBelle had 40, he had a 40 goal season. That's pretty cool. Addison, 69 points, 57 assists. Wow. Asham had 56. Kotkaniemi had uh, 40, 49 points. 38 year old Jesperi Kotkaniemi. That's amazing. Uh, Lorenz. How are you doing, Lorenz? 24 years, uh, 24 years old now, right defense, offensive defenseman. He only had 34 points in 81 games. I would, I would hope he was, maybe he'll pick it up in the next couple of years, I don't know. Let's take a look at the goalies. Kai Gorodov, 916 save percentage, 256 two, goals against average, 36 wins in 71 games. So, our goalie had like 37 wins, but the stats were not even close in terms of uh, quality. Kai Gorodov, 8 shutouts, that's... Pretty amazing. <laughs> like almost a quarter of his wins are shutouts. Fantastic. All right. Overall in the league. Entire league. Svensson had 124 points with 60 goals. Goodness. Keith had 62 for Chicago. 20 years old. 20 years old, high elite, 91 overall, wow, that is crazy, 104 points and he's 20 years old, Silvestri had 58, and then it drops off to 51, 50, not that that's like terrible, 100 points for Regeer, my goodness, but a bunch of players over 100, Jack Hughes, 38-year-old Jack Hughes, 102 points. That's impressive. Pretty cool. Murley, 99 points, 36 goals, 63 assists. Murley, I, I think just... Well, he's with, he's with Svensson, so... Yeah, good player, though. All right. All right, here we are in the 2039-2040 season. And, uh, I mean, our team is looking pretty good up front. Anyway, defense is there, you know, and uh, goaltending. We have a platoon system going here with Beach and Stafford. That's okay. You know, so I think we'll... The, the Jets will do okay, but uh, an interesting thing has occurred, and I'll get to that in a second, but let's look at Carolina, because you'll notice Mel Vineyard is no longer with them. She has changed teams, but Rorius is still there. Um, he's on the final year of his $7.5 million deal. I don't think he's signing anything like that anymore. He's down to a seventh D. I, I think it's the last year for... For Rorius. Um, that's okay. He's uh, 34 years old. It's almost 2040. <laughs> you know. But let's go check out our Moncton Lions. And uh, in on the defense, we got Corpacari. Lorenz is still there. Addison is gone. <gasps> we'll go find Addison. Where did Addison go? Unless he's injured or something, but... But you'll notice, Mel re-signed with Buncton. That's pretty cool. So we got Asham, Parise, and Mel up front. LaBelle is still the second line center. We have LaBelle and just Bell. Dorian Bell and LaBelle. That's awesome. Uh, there, I think we looked at the defense. Yep, Lorenz is there. Goalies, Igorodov and Paul Mills. It looks like a good goaltending tandem. Let's see if we can find Addison. So we found Clint. Um, he's on the Islanders now. He's rated 86, and he's down to a top 6 D at 36 years old. So he is starting to decline, but he did sign a two-year deal. He was either signed the deal or he was traded. I would assume he signed it. Worth 11.945 million. 
So, uh, Addison, New York Islanders. All right. Let's get to the simulating, folks. We're going to... Now that we've, we've seen our team, let's go. Trade deadline. I'll see you then. 2039, 2040. The New York Islanders have fired their head coach, Alexander Steen. Alex, what are you doing over there? You have Addison. Come on. All right, we're just past the deadline here. Let's check out uh, what happened in the world of trading. Look at uh, player picks and trading. Oh, how many deals do we have? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, hopefully that's them all. LA and Colorado, couple second round picks. New Jersey Devils and Dallas. So they got a first rounder and Hanula for Tristan Till Tullender. Okay. Minnesota got a first round and a couple players for Jas Jasper Lander and uh, Manny, ha Manny Hunt. Second and some and some players. I don't know if like the player for player swaps are really huge. I'm just looking kind of for first rounders and names we know. Chicago acquired Jonathan Arnett from Edmonton. Although, hold on. Chicago acquired Easton Matvichuk from New Jersey for a first and a player. And then Chicago also acquired Jonathan Arnett for a second and a player. So Chicago's loading up. A um, couple like seconds and thirds. Alright. Just little stuff from there on in. But some firsts getting swapped there. Pretty crazy. Let's look where we are. Um... We are not in the playoffs right now, nor does it look like we're going to make it. Um, you know. The Sabres are completely out of it. And uh, the Lions are third place in the division, so they look like they could make it themselves. The Islanders are out as well. So Addison, I don't know if he got traded or if he... Uh, I mean, that would be a nice feature overall, is to, to have like a trade tree or a movement, you know, to have like a specifically look at just the movement of the player. Uh, trade trees would be even cooler. That would be fantastic. That way you could evaluate your decision making and what it resulted in. Not that it would, it may have resulted in the same thing if you developed a player and whatnot, but like that would be super cool. I have no idea what happened after the trade deadline there. I don't know if the Jets ate their Wheaties or every day they got a double shot of espresso dropped in their double-double at Tim's there. I have no clue what happened, but we made the playoffs somehow. That's that's good. Somehow this team made the playoffs. Um, Sabres not so much. Uh, Islanders not so much. And unfortunately, the Lions not so much. Because the Atlantic is just crazy. 91 points for the Canadians. The Canadians were the fifth best team in that division. Ottawa and the Maple Leafs topping it off. Um, we uh, 
the uh, the Lions, I should say, 85 points. So they were they could they didn't even make the wild card with uh, with 85 points. So that's that's kind of sad. I would hope they would have done better. They I guess they don't have Addison, so that that changes things. So rents is good, but maybe not as good yet. So let's see what happens in the playoffs. Just to give you the matchups, uh, we're facing Calgary. Uh, San Jose is facing the Golden Knights. Columbus versus Chicago. Dallas versus the Preds. Uh, Ottawa versus Montreal. Toronto versus Detroit. Philly versus Boston. And New York takes on the Canes. Let's see how it goes. The Detroit Red Wings have won the Stanley Cup and the San Diego Gulls get the Calder Cup. And that would do it for franchise mode. Let's uh let's take a tour around and see what happens. And unfortunately, we didn't get to the point where Mel or uh or Rorius retired. Uh same with with um same with uh Bolton, but we can take a look at their. Uh, can we actually? Can we go here? No, probably not. No, we can't. Okay, so that's the extent of it. Let's take a look around for our final look in the 39 40 season, finishing up franchise mode. <gasps> Stat Central. Okay, good. Whew. I was like, can I not look? All right, we're gonna have to do it this way. Let's check out the awards. So, team awards the Detroit Red, Red Wings won. Won the Stanley Cup. Calgary won the President's Trophy. The Clarence goes to San Jose. And Detroit won the uh, Prince of Wales. So individual awards. Uh, Calgary's Carpenter wins the Art Ross. Wins the Heart. Uh, Bellefue. I think. I don't know. If you Again, if you know how to pronounce that, please, please let me know. Wins the Norris for Ottawa. Carpenter wins the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Art Clark. On uh, San Jose, pretty good team at this point. Uh, Tennell wins it, the Con Smite for Detroit. Gillies wins the Vesna for the second time in three years for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The William M. Jennings goes to Continent. Bill Masterton goes to Carson. Uh, Jack Adams goes to Chicago's coach, Halpern. Frank J. Selke goes to Valesi. And the Ted Lindsay goes to M. Carpenter. And the Maurice Richard goes to Carpenter. So Carpenter's getting all the hardware this year. Let's check out Stats Central. For our team, uh, the Winnipeg Jets at this point. 81 points, 38 goals for Haglin. 75 for Cowan. Skuin had 72. I'm guessing uh, Haglin has the highest amount. Yep. 29 goals for Skuin. Estrada had 25. That's pretty cool. Let's check out uh, the goaltenders. Yeah, so our goaltending tandem, the stats were better overall. Uh, but the wins were kind of mediocre. And I'm su I'm really surprised we made the playoffs. I don't know how that happened. Oops, okay. Uh, let's go back to player stats and let's take a look at league wide. Our league. Carpenter, 56 goals for 123 points. Uh, Cassells from Calgary. Wow, that's that looks like a pairing. 52 goals, 109 points. And you have two players that score 50 plus goals. My goodness. Svensson had 49 for 102. Alexander Yakupov had 30. You have three players on Calgary that had over 100 points. That is nuts. Timothy De Silva, 52 goals, 99 points. Wow, okay. Let's check out... Uh, Silvestri, 42 goals. Let's look at goals. Carpenter had 56. Alto had 53. 52, 52. Svensson had 49. Reed Clark, Fiddler. Okay, DeLuca. Now, let's look at... Uh, by points. Let's go take a look at... Uh, how... Uh, Bolton did. Bolton finished uh, with uh, 55 points, 26 goals at the age of 35. Um, let's look at, let's go into their info and his full career stats. So full career stats for Bolton, he had uh, 1,336 games played, 
for 1,334 points, 641 goals. Pretty sweet. Those are the season stats. Let's look at the playoff stats. Playoff stats, he played 96, or he had he played 81 games that had 96 points, 43 goals in 81 playoff games. He was a per playoff performer. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go to um, let's go check out the Carolina Hurricanes. And where is Rorius? There we are. All right. So if we look, uh, let's go to look at his full career stats. Age 35, he's down to a 79 seventh defenseman. Full career stats here. He had 1,275 games with 404 points for a defensive defense defensive defenseman. So that's pretty good. Playoff stats: played 88 playoffs games, had 19 points. What was his? Uh, not that it's the greatest stat in the world, but his season stats. He was a plus 69 in his career. I'm curious as to. Uh, let's just go over here. Played a lot of minutes. Time on ice. His average time on ice was 21.56. So he averaged in his career over 20 minutes. That's amazing. And had 1,925 hits. We have... Uh, I don't know if going to have PIMS. That's okay. Yeah, there we go. PIMS. 1,167 PIMS in his career as well. Good solid defensive defenseman career. Alright, let's go to... Uh, go to the Moncton Lions. Actually, we'll we'll make a stop before we go there. We'll we'll make a, a stop at the Islanders to see Addison. Addison's uh, overall career totals. Cuz he he had himself a career. 37 years old, almost one game short of 1500. Oh man, I mean, he probably still play, but Oh man, look at that. Like all those years with Monks Moncton, he had over a thousand points as a defenseman. That's that's pretty awesome. In almost 1,500 games. Let's look at his playoff. Okay, Addison played 162 playoff games. 162. That is crazy. And he had 95 points for a defenseman in 162 playoff games. That's fantastic. Addison was. Addison's a really good player. All right, let's let's go check out Montreal. We'll look at we'll look at Svensson and Murley. Uh, so let's go into Svensson. And he's still Svensson at the age of 36 is still a first liner elite rated 92. This guy was something else. Check out his full career stats. Okay, he's he played. He played 1,462 games, and he had 1,976 points, and he had 1,026 goals. 1,026 goals. That is unbelievable. Wow. 36 years old, too. That that guy, that that was a player. I, I tried to trade for him at some point. I, sh I think I should have. Like, I think I should have just thrown the bank at, the, at Montreal for him. Because he was unbelievable. Murley. Murley, I had, I had, you know, I was here and there with during his, uh, his career, but he had a good one. 1,329 games at the age of 35, 1,259 points, 520 goals. Oh, I don't even know if I looked at, uh, the playoff statistics for, uh, Svensson. We gotta do that. Murley played 159 playoff games and he had 176 points, so he was a playoff performer too. Goodness, and he's he's a two-way forward. Normally in the game, I'm not big on two-way forwards because they don't have great, they don't work well with great with the chemistry situ, uh, system. But like Murley is an exception to the rule. Let's just double check, uh, double check Svensson. I didn't look at his playoff stats. They're probably like stupid. 200, okay, 232 playoff games, 130 goals just in the playoffs, and he was over a point a game in the playoffs. 276 points in the playoffs. This guy was unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a player. So Svensson, I think, 
if you're if you're going uh if you're going like highlight reel he uh he he was he was the like the the generational player or at least one of them i think somebody had like two grand points i think it was dry sidle he was probably around that as well now this is uh let's take a look at moncton and see how who's left parise so we'll take a look at parise vineyard and labelle um Lorenz didn't. Lorenz has not been around too long, but these these three have had uh, a long career, and we'll look at Kai Gorodov too. So let's start with uh, Parise. Uh, full career stats for Parise. Parise, uh, he's had a long he's had a long career. We traded for him in uh, 2930, and he played a total of. 1,353 games up to this point, he's age 34, and had over 1,000 points, 278 goals, and 728 assists. That is uh, that is a playmaker. Let's take a look at his uh, playoff stats. Nothing nothing is going to be as impressive as, uh, as Svensson there. That was crazy. 80 playoff games and 73 points for Parise. So almost a point a game at the playoffs. Also a performer. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at um, Labelle next. Labelle, thirty years old, so he's still he's still like he hasn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't moved into like past his prime. He's still an eighty-seven elite first liner. Uh, so the stats are not going to be as as overwhelming, but still, uh, for a sniper, he has got nine hundred sixty points for nine hundred sixty games for seven hundred twenty seven points uh for a to uh, with uh, 342 goals in there for his playoff stats uh he's played 80 games already in the playoffs in his career and he has 46 points so labelle not exactly the playoff performer that you'd be hoping for in a sniper but uh i don't know get attached to players and you like them so you try and make them work uh maybe there was other things i could have done with labelle i don't know uh and uh, let's look at uh, Mel. See how she did. 37 years old, so she she might have retired sometime soon. But let's uh, look at the full career stats. So she played over 1,400 games and had over a thousand, over 1,100 points in the, those 1,400 games, and she scored 568 goals. So pretty consistent, 30 to 40 goal performer. Uh, uh, I mean, no complaints there. She was fantastic. You could rely on her every year as a as a goal scorer. For playoff stats, she played 111 games and had 96 points. So she was a playoff performer too. Like she she made made things happen in the playoffs. Like look at that that in the 29 30 year, she had 28 points in 20 playoff games. That's outstanding. All right, let's check out. Um, Let's check out Kai Gorodov. Our long-standing uh, goaltender for the Gustavs Kai Gorodov. Uh, not, not such a hot year at this point, but he is down to a starter. I think he was elite. He's still in 87. But let's take a look at his full career stats. He played... 895 games so he was on his way like i think i've heard before that a quote-unquote a thousand games for a uh skater is about 500 games for a goaltender so he had a long long career basically uh almost he was knocking on the door of 500 wins in the regular season and he held a career save percentage of 908 that's respectable and the the his playoff stats he played 89 games and he had 46 wins in those 89 games, and his his uh, his totals were were for his save percentage and goals against average. The save percentage is reasonable. Goals against average, I guess, if it was closer to two, it would be a little more epic. But I mean, he was a reliable goaltender through his entire career. So that's the the players I wanted to look at. Let's look how the, the playoff tree shook out in that playoffs. <clears throat> we started against Calgary. Calgary defeated us in seven. And then uh, they were taken out by the Sharks. The Sharks went on to beat the Preds. 
to uh, face Detroit. Detroit won in seven games. Wow, that was a tight one in the Stanley Cup. But Detroit made it through Boston, and they beat Montreal. So, uh, yeah. They also took out the Leafs. Detroit Detroit played three original six teams and, and beat them all on the way to the Cup. Pretty impressive. The Hurricanes swept uh, New York and then lost to Boston. And Boston had taken out Philly. Oh, pretty interesting playoffs. Finally, what I'd like to look at is the uh, team statistics for uh, the Moncton Lions. So, the Moncton Lions, the uh, overall points leader as a Moncton Lion was LaBelle with 700, or the current one is 727 for LaBelle. Clint Addison is actually the all time leader with 1,000. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, oh, seasons. Kai, uh, Kai had 15 seasons with uh, Moncton. Addison had 18. Well, that's impressive. He spent a long time in Moncton. Uh, Parise had 540 assists. Addison, the all time at 873. LaBelle had 960 games played. Clint Addison, 1,421 for the Moncton Lions. He was, he was the Moncton Lion. In the end, was Clint Addison. Ashen penalty minutes, <laughs> 580 for the current. Addison had over a thousand in his career. Shutouts, Gustav Kaigorodov, 58 in his career. He is the all-time leader as well as wins and goals. Ha! That's so cool. Mel's Mel Mel's Mel is the uh, current leader for goals, 374, and the all-time leader for goals. Look at uh, season. Uh, Asham, I guess like I don't know. Shoutouts ten for in a season for Kaigorodov. Asham had 127 penalty minutes. Uh, Mel had 47 goals in a season. The all-time was in 2024. Ovi had 50. So we had a 50 goal scorer, and it was Ovi apparently. The way back when in 2024. That's awesome. Parise had the most points in the season at 89. Ovechkin, uh, all-time, 2022, he had 105. Uh, Parise had 67 assists. In a, this is current current record. Uh, and then Lafreniere had 72 in 2009. And wins, Kai Gorodov had 40. And back in tw 2032, he also had 40. For rookies... Uh... Marcel Bedouin had 16 assists. Alex Olsen had 18. Bedouin had 24. Uh, all time. Kurinen had 28 assists. Gustav Kaigorodov had 4 shutouts in his rookie year. Lobel had 18 goals. Gustav's had 16 wins. And Lobel had 40 points. In a game, uh, Philip Gustafsson in 2020 made 46 saves in a game. Wow. Assist 5, Lafreniere in a game. Point six, Nolan Patrick. Goals, Lafreniere. Four in a game. All right. Let's look at the uh, overall NHL career totals. See if anybody, any of our players made it up to the top uh, or made it around here. Most goalie games played. James Reimer ended up playing 13, 1,391. Svensson, 1,000 goals, who actually beat out there's like four players that beat Gretzky in the simulation. <laughs> My goodness. But uh, Svensson and Ovi had over a thousand in their career. And like nobody nobody is touching Wayne Gretzky, but Dreisaitl had 1,998. Svensson had 1,976. Connor McDavid had 1,940. And then Yarmer Yager had, uh, had 1,921. Assists. Uh, Kakanyemi got up there to 1,200. Leon Dreisaitl at 1,100. Uh, wins. Shesterkin got in there. In that uh, Marc-Andre Fleury. Approached Brodeur but didn't get there. Shutouts. Yeah. Not not any not anywhere close. 50 goal seasons. Okay, Svensson had 12 50 goal seasons. Ovi had 11 50 goal seasons. And uh, Petri Alto got in there with 8. So he's pushing the door. He's knocking on Gretzky's door there. 
Svensson had 1,400 point seasons, one behind Gretzky. That is unbelievable. Connor McDavid had 10. Goodness. All right, let's take a look at uh, season records. Merzlikens, most games. Merzlikens in 2025 played the entire season. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder if that was for. I don't know if that was for us. I think I had him after the draft, but anyway. <laughs> 82 games for a goaltender. That's crazy. Silvestri, 79 goals, made the top five. Gretzky, never mind. Gretzky and Lemieux, never mind. Shutouts, okay, never mind. Most wins, Martin Brodeur. Nope, nobody there. Okay, season and rookies. Uh, oh, well, Ovi in 2005. Lucas Schubert, 49 goals in 2039, made the made the list there. See if we have any more any more uh, rookie records. Jody Gillies most wins 38 in 2029. No shutouts. Nobody made it there. Okay. Well, well, folks. I want to thank you for uh, watching the series with me. Um, thank you for uh, just ju just thank you for your time that that you that you gave to to enjoy nhl franchise with me i i really really like this mode and uh i'm gonna do another series i i i'm bringing back the hamilton ogres and we're gonna start afresh with that we're gonna start with an expansion draft i'm gonna put the moncton lions in there as well they're gonna replace arizona uh so they'll be we'll be competing against the moncton lions and the usual suspects of uh, created players will be in there as well. So we'll see where all that shakes out. But uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking through 79 episodes if you, uh, if you made it this far. And I will see you, I'll see you in the next one. And at some point, at some point, maybe we'll do a uh, expansion draft Moncton Lions all trades accepted type thing. Also, if you have any suggestions what you would like me to do, um, either in a series or one-offs like we did with the All Trades Accepted, please leave me a comment. Uh, always, always leave a like if you if you are so inclined. It costs you nothing, and it really really uh, helps promote the videos. Thanks again. Check the description for the socials if you want to talk to me. You can talk to me on Discord. I'll 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 talk to you back there. Uh, and uh, thanks again. See ya. See you soon.